Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mel V Presents. I'm Mel V. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys um, about a seminar that I attended yesterday at the Beverly Hills Playhouse. It was free. I definitely recommend if you're in LA to check out the Beverly Hills Playhouse because they offer free workshops and seminars every month. So get on their mailing list. Um, the seminar was hosted by Asia Ray Coleman and she is an actress. She also has a YouTube page called Workshop Guru. Check it out. She offers tons of great information, advice, and tips for actors navigating their career. Um, she also has a website in her business called Workshop Guru, and it helps actors basically figure out what are the best um, workshops to attend because workshops are so expensive and there's so many people that kind of try to get over on actors and workshops, so she helps you avoid that so definitely check her out check out her IMD page, IMDB page I'll link it below and I'll link all her information below she's really sweet very professional and she knows her stuff and she has a ton of credits so um, I wanted to just kind of tell you guys about the workshop and just some of the takeaways that I learned and some things that I may I'm going to apply to my career this year so we first started by talking about our vision and breaking down our goals, like what do we want to accomplish this year, what do we want to accomplish in the next six months, and then the next three months. Then we talked about um, identifying obstacles and challenges, and how sometimes obstacles and challenges don't have to be such a negative thing, and a lot of times they're put in place to help us um, to get to the next level, or stepping stones. And then we talked about um, using the resources that we already have, and a lot of times, we have resources, but we're always focusing on what we don't have. So focus more on what you do have. So we talked about time, we talked about money, we talked about relationships, skills, talent, camera, like equipment, theater space, like the things that we do have that we can take advantage of. And the main thing that really stuck out to me was relationships. So we talked about um, basically how to nurture those relationships that we do currently have. So one of the tips that she gave us in order to um, help establish relationships with like casting directors, she recommends to create a target list of about seven to 10 casting directors based on your goals. So if your goal is to book a co-star role, figure out which shows you wanna work on and figure out the casting directors that's casting for that show and then have a target list based on your goals and reach out to them. and. You want to reach out to them every four to six weeks. Um, there are a ton of different reasons she talked about that you can reach out to casting directors. Um, some of them included expressing gratitude, so like thanking them for a workshop that you attended or thanking them for an audition. You can send a little personal note. That's one, to, one way to reach out. You can congratulate them on things that they've accomplished or their successes, like if maybe they got nominated for an award or you can um, let them know like some update that you know, I got a new agent or I just took this class or that class. You can share your career bookings. Like I just booked a national commercial. Like it's really important to just have um, different ways to reach out to them. Nothing like cliche, but those are legit reasons that you could reach out to casting directors. So that's something that helps to create and establish a relationship. She talked about the rule of seven. Um, basically, you need to contact someone seven different times in order for them to gain interest or um, to be aware of who you are. So those are reasons and ways to reach out and establish relationships with casting directors. So I'm definitely gonna do that um, this year. I'm actually gonna do that for commercial casting directors and also, um, casting directors for TV shows because I want to book co-star roles as well. So I really loved that tip. I thought that was super helpful. So another thing that she talked about was the fact that actors were entrepreneurs and we are our own business and we have to make sure that we are using our time wisely. So she talked about creating a morning routine and creating a schedule for yourself, time blocking, blocking off um, areas of your day for marketing, for um, answering emails, for working out, for errands, like making sure that your time is just not wasted. Because in this business, there is no blueprint. So you have to make sure that you are dedicating um, the right time to the right things. So 
she said that it's really important to every day devote 30 to 90 minutes of marketing time, marketing yourself. And that has to do with building relationships. So I feel it all goes hand in hand. So overall, the seminar was super helpful, super informative. I got a lot out of it. And I definitely just wanted to share a few um, tidbits or a few things that I thought could be helpful, a few things that I'm definitely gonna apply to my career now. So definitely check out Asia Ray's website, workshopguru.com, and also her YouTube page, Workshop Guru. She has so many videos that are helpful to actors and a lot of great advice on there. So check her out. I will leave the link to her um, website and her YouTube page. I will leave that all below and all the other things that I mentioned in the video. So definitely check her out. And don't forget to subscribe to my page. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.